Hi everyone, welcome to Staying Positive and Moving Forward. Tonight I'm going to talk about that wonderful St. Patty's Day parade we did yesterday. Um, I'm actually wearing my brother's shirt. <laughs> and he um, does his own business and stuff like that with strawberries and everything. And he has two beautiful goats. And um, that's what we did with the hay. The hay was um, part of putting it on the um, truck and stuff like that. So afterwards, he took it home to recycle and give to his lovely goats, <laughs> which was fun. <laughs> you got goats, your brother? He's got two goats. He's got a cat and a bunny that play together like crazy. Hmm. And he's got a puppy. Yeah. Yep. So what is his business? What does it say on your shirt? Uh, something grill more, I think. I'm not sure. I'm pushing the wrong side. Grill more? Yeah, it says... Uh, oh, grill more farms. Yeah, so he did grow more farms. I'm not sure if he works there anymore, but this was his awesome business shirt he gave me. So I was talking about my brother today, and I thought, like, you know, I'd start talking about that. Um, we had to wait probably an hour for the parade to start and stuff like that. We were field um, 10, and we were line up 7. So we did quite amazing, and um, we had to decorate the truck, which was really cool. So, um, again, like I know last time it was like pretty bright, but I'll show you what one of the trucks looked like. It was really awesome, I think. <laughs> you know? the truck? My brother and I did in the whole group. Oh, cool. So I thought it was pretty cool, you know? Was it the day before you decorated it or that day? Um, no, we had to get there and decorate it. Oh, cool. I think what else I could show, can't really hear it, but oh, it's too bright. But I was going to show him that. <laughs> I think it's it? too bright. Let me see oh, if I... Yeah. yeah, let's see if I try that. I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> we were in the parade and everything, which was really amazing, and we actually got on the news. I don't know if I can hear it, but... But it was really amazing, and that's the truck and everything. We did... And somebody said hi to me, and I still don't know who... The so I don't know. Like I said, it has to be someone that was having it off and stuff. And this is what the truck looked like. That's so cool. So we did really amazing. So if you're the mystery man or you know who it was that said, hi, Sarah. Yeah, I'd so like to know. Let, Let me know. see. I'd, I'd definitely like to know because I'm like, okay, <laughs> like what was that about, you know? Uh, my brother and everybody, the camera's over here, goodness, um, like that. Everybody came and stuff like that. It was really amazing. Um, the other one that was really amazing is this little oh, darling. Boy. This go. little darling was in the parade. <laughs> is she Irish? You know what? I don't know if my kitty's Irish or not, but that would be funny. But I did find out. Would you stop it, you silly? But I did find out that um, I'm German. So I did find that out recently. German but yeah. Ancestry or um, it wasn't through Ancestry, no. Your thing is caught on something, the baby, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I found out from my brother. My brother told me, Reichke oh. is German. Yeah. Kenya's a little shoulder baby right now. <laughs> but yeah, I thought, you know, she's going to be an amazing part of Sparkling Enter Farm and Entertainment is what I called it now. And again, I talked about this in my other video, but the reason we called it Sparkling Farm and Entertainment's is because now we have a friend, Keith and Donalyn, they're coming into town. They're going to help out with the business. We're going to be working with horses, farms, everything. So it's going to awesome. be quite amazing. Yep. Yeah. So that's going to be quite amazing. What kind of things are you thinking about doing? Well, for the next parade, we want to do Memorial Day. We don't know if we'll have it by then. But another parade coming up, what we'll do is we will definitely have, um, like, horses and... Uh, carriage and stuff like that, and we're hoping to have that, you know? Kenya's looking right at the camera. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Kenya's going to be a big thing. I've taken her to restaurants. I've taken her to, like, the parade. She did amazing. So many people gave her attention. One person gave her some treats. <laughs> that was kind of cute. <laughs> did she have green on? She had a cheetah coat on because it was kind of cold. Uh -oh. So I put a cheetah coat on her. <laughs> Yep. 
Oh, you're meowing into the camera? She loves to be a cuddle bug. Yep, and now she's trying to get on my shoulder. <laughs> but um, a lot of things like that we are definitely going to do is the Memorial Day Parade. Um, that's coming up. We're going to do that one. We're going to do the Memorial Day Parade. We're going to be doing, um, if anyone's heard by 6x6 by six from Rochester Community Center, I think it is. We're definitely going to be doing 6x6 six six and have sparkly entertainers and, or a bunch of art. So that'll be really f fantastic, I think. And when we get groups started and stuff like that, we might go to the zoo, have movie night. So we're getting things buckled down where we're going to do a lot more things. And I love that I got um, four new people, thanks to my friend Tim and my Tim's um, fiance, Jean. So um, me and her and him, we had four more people. They were really sweet. They did a great job. One gave his hat away because we ran out of candy. <laughs> His hat away? <laughs> he gave his little hat away. Yeah, it was so funny. He gave his hat away because of candy and stuff like that. We definitely need to buckle down on more candy because, yeah, that was a big group, and I can't even imagine what Memorial Day will look like. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> but, again, my brother was so amazing. He helped out. He um, got the truck for me and stuff like that. I paid with it out of my money. Um, I had it rented and everything. All my brother had to do was pick it up, and he got some hay for us, too. Which was really nice. And then he gave it to the baby goats. <laughs> yeah, the goats are really cute. Yeah, they gave he gave it to the goats. Like, I, we knew what we were going to do with it and stuff like that. It's too bad we couldn't keep it for Memorial Day, but, you know, we'll just get more. <laughs> it was only 30 bucks for that many, like, I think, um, six bales of hay. Hey. Yeah, so that's not bad at all. And he knows a friend that um, gives them, too. So that was a big, helpful thing. But um, we're going to try to make banners better because our banner is kind of ripped. So after taking them off, but they were just tablecloths, but we did a great job, me and Jean, we did a great job, and Tim, he helped out a little bit, I felt like he was a little lazy, lol, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I'd say that, it's funny, he'll probably watch this and think, what, <laughs> but yeah, t me and Jean got down on the ground, we painted everything, we folded them up, it, it was, it was a lot of work, we made six of them, <laughs> so my friend Ryan and Brett um, were the front of the parade. They held up the banner. One was on one side and one was on the other holding up the banners. So they were the first one seen, which was amazing. Um, Tim's friends handed out candy and stuff like that. I kind of wish I had business cards because we probably could have gotten a good thing there. But we haven't made business cards yet. We're definitely going to make business cards. That's going to be a big thing. Yeah. You know? Just the print. So. Um. Something. I'm not sure. I want to make them professional. I want to get a, like a whole box of them. Yeah. Them so, like yeah. The, uh, office, the office door there. What's it called? Oh, okay. Office Max. Office Max, yeah. So we got to get business cards going. We, um, My brother said we should print out professional banners. He knows a friend that knows how to do it, I think, is what he told me. And that was amazing. The worst part, I think, about it is the, the very front of the parade. I thought we were supposed to meet where it was all lined up green. And it turned out my brother had to drive around for like five minutes or so to find out where to park. <laughs> like actually get in line, not park. My one friend, Jamie, um, he has not, uh, you know, he, he was there, but he's like, oh, I didn't know where to park. I'm like, why didn't you call us, dude? <laughs> my friend Doug and Sue didn't able to make it. My friend Doug didn't feel so good. And I'm glad he's feeling better now. Um, my friend Sue didn't have a ride, so I think that's probably the only ones that didn't show up. I don't think my friend AJ is interested in parades, really, so everyone's not interested in everything. So he didn't show up either, but we have a lot of people that did, and we were very thankful, you know. We had a lot of help and everything. People blew up balloons to put on the truck, which I think was amazing, like I said. <laughs> It was pretty cool. Everything happened, like, amazingly. We went down there and stuff. Um, what did people say? What were some of the comments that you got from the crowd? Uh, a lot of the crowd kept asking if we had business cards, what it was about, because we're brand new. Right. So that was the thing, too. Everyone loves brand new stuff. So we um, said maybe next time we'll have business cards. A lot of people wanted to come up and pet Kenya. I had her riding with me in the truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to walk her on a stroller, but... Eh, she didn't want to stay on the stroller very well, even when we were waiting. So I didn't want to take the chance, even though I had her hooked up to the stroller in the car, too. 
we were sitting on the back of the truck, me and my friend Gene. We had a we had a good time, like I said. Tim rode his bike, and again, Ryan and Brett had the banner, which was amazing. My brother drove the truck. Yep. So it was really nice. And then my other friends that I met recently, Tim's friends, um, handed out all the candy, which was nice. So it was really amazing. Some handed out, um, gave out not just their hat, like I said, but um, he gave out all the necklaces, too, that people were wearing. <laughs> my brother said, here's my necklace. <laughs> so, <great>. yeah. <laughs> I think I was the only one that kept mine. <laughs> Jean even gave her necklace away. Uh, what did you guys have for food there? Did you eat from the um, we didn't eat. Yeah, no. Um, my brother took me home and everything and stuff like that. He drove a, um, Ryan and Brett back to the beginning so his staff could get them. Jean and Tim took the bus and the other friends drove. Mm -hmm. So, yep, it was pretty good. Um, my brother had things to do afterwards and I told him I was so thankful. He helped me put everything back in there and everything. After my friends, um, my worker Sonia helped me go through everything. We got to keep very, um, pretty much a lot of the stuff, but the banners, like I said, they were ripped and things that had been like the balloons, of course, we're not going to keep like, um, but we kept a, quite a few stuff for next year to put on the truck, which will be good because always save some money. It's going to be fun for the Memorial Day parade. We want to do a 4th of July one, but I don't know if they really do 4th of July parades today. Yeah. So that's the one we're trying to find is the fourth drive parade, but it seems like Memorial Day comes first in May. Yeah. So we're thinking about doing that. Also, um, in May, I cannot wait. My friend Donald and Keith, um, with their money and amazing opportunities, um, they're going to buy a boat. So I'm going to have a birthday party boat. Oh, nice. Yep. And my friend Donald Lynn, her birthday is right around the corner from mine. So me and Donald Lynn are both going to have our birthdays together. Nice. What is that? Um... I think we said, so she's, I think the 20th, I forget, but um, I'm the 21st, and um, we thought about having it that weekend, so I think that's the 38th, I can't remember. 21st of what? 21st of May. Of May? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's when my birthday is, but I'm not sure, like, um, let me see, I actually have a really cool thing I made, so yeah, the 38th, and I have a really cool... Uh, thing i made with all the boats and everything on it it's pretty <laughs> yeah so this is going to be our our um imitation yeah yeah oh, you're yep cool at doing those yep so it looks really cool we're going to print them out have invitations they're going to be the ones that decide how many can get on the boat so we're getting a boat with a bathroom and a nice nice big boat and stuff like that but again when we, i was going to rent one they were like only 10 you could only have 10 which was annoying so um, I'm not sure if that's what Keith and Don Lynn are going to go with. But, yeah, I'm hoping to ask my brother to drive the, the um, boat, too, because I had a lot of fun with my brother. Oh, so I think so. I don't know. I don't know the answer that fully. <laughs> I don't know the answer that fully. But um, I think so. He knows how to drive trucks. He knows how to drive tractors. Yeah. Everything I could think of. <laughs> so he's been he's been around a lot like i said and it was nice to reacquaint with him and stuff like that and be there with him and i i appreciate his help so much i, I don't know how i could have done it without him <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> any questions mm, how does somebody go about being in a parade if they want to do that so it depends on which parade it is like i said but I had to go on the St. Paddy's Day um, post and stuff like that. Um, they had on Facebook. And I had to fill out um, some paperwork and stuff like that. As for the Memorial Day, I'm not sure yet. My brother's going to help me with that. So, And I hope I can be more arranged to tell people where to meet. Because, like I said, that was the only thing I did wrong. Is I didn't realize where to meet. It's a good thing most people called me and found out where they had to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. advice if anybody does this. Where to meet with your you group. definitely have to do that because all the roads will be closed. Uh, okay. Roads will be closed. It'll be hard to get around. And like I said, if you're in a division, you have to be lined up in the right division. Because when they call out your name and stuff like that, they have that on the paperwork. So if you were in the wrong division, they're going to call it the wrong person, which isn't good and stuff like that. So you got to be careful with that. And also, you have to get there early to, like, if you're going to decorate and stuff like that. Some people do it ahead of time, like I said. But me, if I rented a truck, I could only do it that day. So 
it wasn't too bad. U-Haul um, had 1999, I think, for the day. I think it was. But yeah, that wasn't bad at all. No. You know, no, it was. It was nice. The part part, part was covering up all the U-Haul and everything and stuff <laughs> like that, making it look like a a party, um, you know, truck or something like that, which that was, was amazing. Fun part too, though, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Well, it's nice to see sparkling enter- entertainment in the community. Yeah, sparkling, sparkling far- farms and entertainment. Sparkling, sparkling farms and entertainment. Farms and entertainment. Okay. So again, the reason we're doing that is my friend Alan and Keith are going to get their own mansion. They're going to have horses. And again, I want it to be about like people c- popping up for their dreams. I want their dreams coming true. You know, like my friend Samantha, once again, she can't read, maybe. But can she not cook? No, she cooks amazing. <laughs> she uses YouTube and she cooks amazing. Her food is fantastic. <laughs> it's better than uh, anything in my book. <laughs> yep. Also, um, like I'm hoping to talk to some people about maybe being in the um, Lilac um, Festival, getting our own booth and stuff like that. My friend Samantha makes beautiful bracelets, necklaces, everything. And I was thinking if she cooked too, we could sell her cooking. So it's, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot of work and stuff like that. But it's hard to arrange things. Also, you have to have people that want to answer when you have meetings and stuff like that. Like, I understand if they're working or they're busy or whatever, but if you're not, I need people to answer because it's hard for me to make meetings on my own time, too. So that was something I tried to do, too, is tell somebody, like, I'm not trying to give them too many messages. I'm just, there has to be meeting times for everything. And we have our big meeting at the end of the month. We're going to the Porter House in Fairport. And it's really nice. You got pasta and all that beautiful stuff. There's a bar there, but we're not going to touch the bar, of course. <laughs> but um, it's, and we could either sit, I'm not sure if our, my group's going to sit out in the, um, there's like a big, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, like an area where you could look at the docks and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah. It's really pretty and stuff like that. We might sit there, we might sit the actual inside, but in the summer, they open that up so you could see outside the window. So it's really pretty and stuff like that. Yep. I'm probably going to take Kenya, too, being my service kitty. She'll have a lot of fun and stuff. I've taken her to McDonald's now, Wendy's, Applebee's. I took her to Olive Garden. Um, I'm trying to think. I took her to the parade. <laughs> I take her to voice class with me every um, time I come to voice class. Um, piano, I can't because my teacher's allergic. So, you know, you have to be considerable of things like that. Yep. So... But yeah, she's been amazing being a service kitty. <laughs> she's done quite amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is there anything you want to say in closing to uh, um, wrap up the St. Patty's experience? N- no, not really. Thank Probably you for that. listening um, to Sarah. Staying positive and moving forward. <laughs> Mints are really good. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Staying Positive and Moving Forward. This is Sarah Reichke with Sparkling Entertainers. See you next time.